Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jamal LeBlanc from Chill Tech, and I'm going over Oxygen OS from the OnePlus One. Now, Oxygen OS is supposed to be a replacement for CyanogenMod for the OnePlus One phones coming forward, but right now with the OnePlus One, you're automatically given CyanogenMod. So if you want Oxygen OS, you have to flash it manually. So should you go through all this risk and, I guess, hassle and time to flash Oxygen OS? Uh, I'm going to go over a quick couple, I guess I will say an overview, but I'll, I'm going to give you guys some pointers on whether or not um, it's worth doing right now. So I'm going to start off with the good and then we can go ahead from here. So starting with the good, definitely performance. Performance is great. It's very, very much like a Nexus in terms of performance. Very fast, very smooth. It's very slick. Um, you can open up apps really fast. So if I open up Hangouts here, you know, you can go ahead and check that. Hey, Adam, <laughs> you're on Hangouts. You know, you can check that out. You know, it's really, really cool. You have the geek session out here with some of the guys, some uh, smart guys and stuff, you know, it's really, really fast, you know, to go through all this stuff. We also have animations and things, you know, um, if you look at here, the animations with, with uh, Lollipop, you know, it's, it's Lollipop, it looks really good, but not every phone that runs Lollipop can actually handle all the animations as well as this phone right here, or some of the Nexus phones. So, it's really, really good with the animations, it, it loads up really fast, everything is really great. Um, I love it, you know, it, I think this is this is how a operating system should perform, especially on Android. When it comes to stock Android, because I've seen some versions of stock Android from like companies like Blue and stuff, where it's like, man, you know, <laughs> multitasking is a breeze. It's much, much smoother. Even on my Nexus 5 or my Nexus 6, this is definitely one of the better ways to multitask. You know, I love it. You know, to see how quick it is to go through here. They also added a kill switch. Um, so at the top here, you can exit all your notifications at one time. I definitely feel like that's a good, handy feature that's a implement to not necessarily on stock Android, but it added to stock Android, so it makes it, you know, really, really cool. They also pre-installed all the Google services, so go ahead, OnePlus, for doing that. I know San Jamal is trying to get away from Google services, but OnePlus and Oxygen OS is embracing it. Thank you very much for bringing all the Google services so it saves me the downloads, because I use them all practically. Um, it's a very lightweight OS, besides all the Google services, because you need Google services to, for it to be really Android. Let's be, let's be real now. You can't have Android without Google services. Well, you can, but it's not fun. So, but, you know, the other than that, they kept it very lightweight. There's not many additional add-ons. They added a few things um, that I'm sure you guys have already seen on YouTube. Like, they added the ability to, like, change where things go um, on your, like, quick launch or anything like that. I mean, it's it's cool. I'm not going to really change it that much, you know. They did add some cool things like, uh, what's it, what is it called? Double wake to lock. Oh, that's not a good thing here. It's double tap to wake, so I can tap the device twice, and it wakes up automatically. Really cool. I love it. And also, if you notice here a little bit, um, I know this video is horrible when it comes to quality, but if you can look at the screen compared to, like, some of the other OnePlus um, ROMs, they tweaked the screen a little bit, and they didn't mention it much on their, like, big announcement but if you look at the you know the breakdown of it they really did they made the colors look a little bit more cooler a little bit more um like lifelike it, i like it a lot um the colors are great on this display and it's hard because this video sucks so you can't really i can't really replicate it the best way but if you you know see it in person the colors are amazing they're really really um deep and they're really um cold and they're cool whatever however you call it i i like them a lot and it's if compared to to side of Jamon 12 I definitely think the colors um, on San Jamon are a little bit warm. Um, that is not bad or anything. It's just much warmer than this. And you don't really get that really rich viewing experience. Especially when you look at like videos and things. Colors are great. You know, uh, so that's kind of like the good stuff about San Jamon. Things that really stand out when I say good. Because it is stock Android. So if you know anything about, about a Nexus device or stock Android, there's nothing much here really to go into. That's good because it, with everything that you like about stock Android, you can say about Oxygen OS. Now let's talk about the negative. And when I say negative, I don't want to like, gosh, I don't want to like bash this because this is this is very new. This is definitely their you know their first version of it. And to go ahead and show you, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings and go to about phone. You know this is Oxygen OS 1.0. Let me get if I can get that to focus here. This camera sucks. So. If I get likes, I'll buy a new camera. If I don't get likes, then oh well. So, so the battery died in this piece of crap camera um, during the middle of the review. I haven't charged this thing in like months because I don't use it because it's a piece of crap. But um, yeah, so continuing where I was, Oxygen OS 1.0.0. So, you know, given the fact that this is their first attempt, 
I don't want you to take the negatives. I want you to take them to heart. Like I want you to really like know that this is our these are negatives, but don't feel like this is like permanently negative because over time I promise One Plus and Oxygen OS team will fix a lot of these issues. But right now I'm talking about whether you should flash this right now or not. So continuing on the negative and the first thing I want to talk about is the camera. It is garbage now, not because it's using Google camera, which a lot of people don't like. I don't mind it. I didn't mind it on the Nexus 6, and I don't mind it on the Nexus 5. But phones that are not optimized with the Google camera just don't take good pictures, no matter what. It's like, you can do whatever, and it just does not take a good picture. You can focus and make it right here. and Just look how it, like, replicates itself. It doesn't even look the way that I shot it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's horrible. Like, it just, ugh. So a lot of people said, oh, go ahead and download ColorOS. Um, camera, this is so much better, makes photos great, yada, 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 it's better than my iPhone. So I was like, let's put it to the test. Now, first I was like, oh, okay, the, the, you know, the interface looks pretty good. I know it's, it, it focuses super fast, like, you know, one tap, it's focused, one tap, it's focused. But, um, take a picture, and then you go ahead and you look at it, and it's, like, super bad. It's, like, muted, and it's a little dull. And these are some photos that I took earlier. Um, I'm going to post these up. I'll actually probably take a quick little pause break right here, because I'm going to post some some photos compared to Cyanogen Mod camera compared to the Oxygen OS and the one of ColorOS camera for Oxygen OS. Um, yeah, it, it's not going to be, you're going to see the difference. The Cyanogen Mod camera, for some reason, they optimized the camera just way better for the OnePlus One. And you know what? That's okay. That is, you know, I do feel like in time the camera will get better. But right now, it's just not passable. The photos are not even good for social media. So please be, look out for that. Uh, let's see here. The battery drain. Ugh. So, this is a Nexus 5 issue. And I wanted to go over this because I did charge it over last night. So, I did the flash yesterday around 3 o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, you know, this is going to be... Um, let me do all the things that you do with your new phone. You download your apps and stuff. So, you can't judge a operating system's battery life if you do a bunch of stuff with it. So, I did what I have to do first and I charged it back up to full okay and I just you know went through the entire day today because I had a play um for church and I did my play and it, I took out the phone of the charger around like 11 o'clock ish you know and it went to about what's that I want to say around like eight this is about maybe like around eight o'clock and then it was already down to like six percent and I was like what the heck what did I do today? And I was like, oh, I barely made it to, th you know, three screen, uh, three hours of screen on time. When I checked it actually the first time, it was like two hours and 50 minutes. This is unacceptable for a OnePlus phone. I'm used to getting around anywhere to four to six hours screen on time. And I mean, when I say, you know, screen on time, I'm talking about generally heavy usage. I play Clash of Clans and Boom Beach and I text all day. I use Hangout Messages. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Google+. Plus. I do a lot of things with my phone throughout the day, and I take pictures and things like that. So I don't expect my phone to die in the middle of the day, uh, usually at all, especially with the OnePlus. Since I had the OnePlus One, that's the main reason why I don't even use the Nexus 6 anymore, because I want my phone to last me the entire day. So when I wake up in the morning, I still have battery life left, and I can choose, choose to charge it if I want to or not. So with that four to six hours of screen on time, I'm generally getting 24 to 40 hours of overall battery usage on this phone. With Oxygen OS, I'm getting around 9 to 15 hours. And the best screen on time I've gotten, which was yesterday, which was 3 hours and 5 minutes. And that used, it died around like 9 hours. So, um, it's just unacceptable. The battery life is not good and it's not optimized. Now, I don't know if this is because of the battery leak from the Nexus phones. Um, that's because this is built. Yeah, so the battery died. Sorry, guys. Um, this, this camera is really bad. I'm going to buy a new one, I promise. This won't happen again. Well, if, well, if it happens again, well, you won't know. But, uh, uh, sorry. My allergies are killing me today. I keep sniffling. I hate springtime. You know, I love springtime weather, but I hate springtime as a, as a, whatever. Anyway, so, like I said, this is Android 5.0.2. So, this has a lot of issues with it. I mean, it, you know, if you remember back when the Nexus 5 was launched and the Nexus 4, um, for Lollipop, they had this, like, horrendous battery drain. That was fixed in 5.1. <laughs> this is not 5.1, obviously, so we're going to have to wait until that 5.1 version of Oxygen OS comes out to fix that. So for now, battery optimization is garbage.
The final thing I want to go over is audio. Audio is horrendous. And when I say horrendous, I don't mean if you plug in headphones, it sounds bad. Or if you listen to the audio off the, um, the bottom firing stereo speakers, they're bad. No. I'm talking about input audio from like a car jack or something like that or Bluetooth. It's not the same as the signage mod drivers, the FX drivers, or even the, um, what was it, the OnePlus One Max audio drivers or... Sony phones have, have they, their audio drivers. They give you that really rich bass. Even iPhones have a really good driver built in for the audio output. This does not have it. Um, the volumes can get loud, but they're not necessarily clear or like crisp. And they don't have that, like I said, that really rich bass. I miss that a lot. And I was going to like sideload, well, what was it, um, Max Audio. But I was just like, why didn't, why didn't, why didn't, why didn't, why didn't I have to do all this craziness? I'm going to take this all I'm doing. But why... Do have to do all this craziness to get this device to just sound good. You know, this is something that I feel like if you're coming over from Cyanogen Mod 11s or if you if you're using a Cyanogen Mod 12 nightly, look. Bottom line, <laughs> my conclusion is, don't upgrade to Oxygen OS. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love Oxygen OS. I feel like once the bugs get you know figured out, I, this this will be my <laughs> number one driver for the One Plus One mainly because. OnePlus makes the, the OS. I like to use the phone's operation that's made for it. You just want it to be, you know, unified. But right now, <laughs> unification is not working out for them. Sina Jamad is making a more complete OS when it comes to uh, battery life, camera, and audio, which is what I care about more than the super fast performance because this is a killer performance and it has a great display. But the sacrifices that are made when it comes to battery and it comes to audio and when it comes to the camera is just redonkulous and I'm not going to keep this OS on here for much longer so I'm going to go back to Sina Jamal 12 nightly I'm sorry I tried I will try this again with the next update of Oxygen OS hopefully things are better but until then it's going back to CM 12 nightly until 11 or 12s comes out and if you want to see the video for Sina Jamal 12s go ahead and uh, you know give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and also if you guys subscribe to our channel you get some of our other videos we do gaming videos and podcasts and movie reviews and things like that so we can give you that content later on when you want it so that is it that this has been the review of oxygen os for the one plus one i'm sorry guys if it's not what you thought it would be but i'm keeping it real and this is just my honest opinions on it now, some people may have different experiences because that's how phones are sometimes. Things don't work for me, but they may work for you. So if you have a better experience with it, leave it in the comment section below as well. You know, I'd like to hear maybe what, you know, what you did or something like that to make it better. Um, until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it's a podcast. And I will talk to you then. Love you guys. Bye.